Hey boys, welcome back to some more spin bowling career mode round eight of the Sheffield Shield. And this episode is completely cursed. I <laughs> oh, this episode has caused me so much, so many problems. For one, this is the second time I've uh, I've done the commentary. I was about halfway through and uh, it decided to, to crash. The recording, the editing software decided to crash. And I'm restarting it, which is always, always fun. But, uh, you know, that, that happens. But the other thing that's very frustrating is the fact that a big portion of this, um, of this game, of the recording actually got, I don't know, corrupted or something happened and it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't upload. Like, it wouldn't, uh, go onto the USB, uh, from the, re the recording, I guess. So, yeah, and, uh. We'll get to that in a second, um, as we start off here. We are having a bat first, which is uh, always good. We come out here with a 33 average, uh, only three matches so far, so it's, it's not a bad start. Only the um, the 150, which, um, you know, can definitely be improved upon. But our bowling has been good, our batting has been decent. I think uh, for the, you know, position we're in, we'd probably want to average a bit more um, in the first class arena. Because we are we are a bowling all rounder. Bowling is the main focus, but getting into high honors, you want to be um, you know, adept with both. Of that one there, I don't think I meant to actually leave that ball, but it was actually thankfully it was a leg cutter from Scott Bowling. It actually gripped a bit off the pitch. Only 112 k's an hour. Um, not a not a bad ball actually. The pitch looks pretty good. Looks a little grassy on top, but. Obviously, coming onto the bat nicely, but only five down for 242. It looked like Kawaji got a, a big 90 on. As uh, Boland here, we're finally going to get off the mark with a bit of a, a bit of a edgy pull shot, but we'll take it, dude. We'll take getting off the mark in that position. So yeah, looking at the scoreboard there, a few players getting starts. Uh, Kawaji unfortunately didn't get his hundred. A fantastic innings, nonetheless. 91 off. Like 114 pulls, which is very, very dominant display by Usman. The uh, the Bush Range is not the probably not the strongest bowling attack in uh, in the game here. I think uh, I don't know. I think they got most of their team as we go for that uh, sweep shot, which you use very well against the uh, the spinners. But I I think they're missing a couple of players from like the uh, the proper team. But uh, yeah, probably not the probably not the strongest attack. Cause we can we go for a big sweep shot. Um, Pretty close to LV, I thought. Uh, might have hit me just outside the line. Or might have got a little edge on it. I wasn't quite sure. But we're struggling to get started here in this game. We finally go for the... Uh, well, we go for the sweep shot again there. We more conventional one. And strike it pretty nicely. Is uh, good running here by Jimmy Pearson. A little tight there. But it's a uh, good, uh, good scramble. Um, as we come back here. Four of eight. And uh, unfortunately, another wicket has fallen. So Wildermyth uh, is new to crease. But here's a... Wildermyth is a very quality all-rounder. I can definitely see Wildermyth um, making higher honours, especially, like, looking at him in the big bash, like, he's a decent batter, and then he's bowling. His bowling is, like, very, very solid. Like, he, he seems like a, a guy who could almost make it as a frontline bowler, but then you throw in decent batting. Um, he's quality, quality young all-rounder for the, uh, for the Bulls, as a uh, great shot there. Through um wide mid on the uh the on drive, it's a great shot to uh to get away. But uh, coming up here, unfortunately, no, it's not. It's not quite up here. I <laughs> I thought it was up here, but that's a just a punch through gap there. Nice shot actually. Gonna push for two again. Good running um Wildermith this time. Beautiful stuff. So um yeah, good uh good over so far. Four two and two offers. So make that uh make that eight runs <laughs> and uh, getting our. Getting our innings started nicely is a decent drive there. No no timing, really. But uh, we come back here, yeah, and as you see, we're now 73 off 52. Wildermyth, 13 off 40. Um, yeah, we missed, like, I had this all recorded. Like, it was a big portion of the gameplay there recorded. I'm like, just upload. Everything else worked. But that one section, I try to do everything. I try to, like, edit it and trim it up, like, before I put it into the the editing software, but it just it wouldn't work. So unfortunately, we we come back here 77. Um, just so frustrating, honestly, so frustrating because uh, 
we obviously batted very well. Um, you know, pretty aggressive, but uh, playing uh, playing the spinners nicely, playing the attack nicely. But uh, we come back here in a good time. I mean, a great chance to get out made in. 100 in the first class arena and a, yeah very good chance as uh using our footwork this time take him down town almost six one bounce four and uh pushing this first innings total to a to a very very uh good good total i guess pushing it to you know 400 would be nice i mean we still got some batters to come so could uh could be a very nice first innings lead or well, not lead but um first innings total and that's a that's a beautiful uh, sweep shot finding the gap nicely and enough power and I thought it was going for four but it was actually pretty decent fielding to restrict it to uh to only three so 87 now only 13 required as uh again the spinner comes in as uh look to look to play through wide mid off just a little little bit of poor timing there just skewing it off to mid on but uh, there's plenty of gaps now plenty of gaps to push for two uh get a single we don't need to play anything too too crazy uh, again, floated up there, looking to blast through that uh, that gap. It's a, it's a small gap, not an easy shot to play, but uh, through that like mid off and uh, sort of a, a whitish mid off or extra cover sort of. So that's one spot to to target. But we're going to do a little paddle shot around the uh, around the back there. Not a not a bad bad looking shot. Good touch, and uh, we're looking we're just looking in good form here. 89 now and uh we're just seeing the ball so well we can play those type of shots just using the pace of it spinning back into us so good stuff and then we pull out the uh the reverse sweep as well into the gap gonna push for two the running has been uh probably the key factor in this uh in this inning so far 93 now only seven runs required and he's given us a short ball we love him there uh beck i i don't know who that's meant to be i don't know if it's a proper player or not i don't think so but uh, not a great ball. That was down leg side. It was short. There was no one back there as well. It was just a freebie. So 97. Uh, yeah. Great great opportunity here. Hopefully we don't <laughs> squander it. We've been known to squander a few chances. That's a quick one by Beck. <laughs> if that was on the stumps, I that would have got me out. Like I was way late on it. It was 146 Ks. Sometimes when they, they crank it up, like it actually catches you off guard. And it's hard to... um. Like, he's bowling like 130, all of a sudden, like 146. Yeah, just thankfully he wasn't on the stump, so we, we survived the uh, little bit of a scare there with the effort ball. As uh, 97 now, he's put it out wide there. Perfect ball. We've we played it through that, that point region, the square drive. It's one of our favorite shots. It's going to trickle away. Not going to go for four, but the running, come back for three, Wildermyth, and that is going to be a fantastic hundred. We might have actually come back for four. We did. We ran four, so 101 off uh, 69 balls. Just, uh, what's a, what an innings, and a, a chance to really go on and make a, uh, make a good, uh, a good, uh, sizable hundred as we push for a sneaky single, <laughs> and uh, Wildermyth. Uh, thankfully gets home there, so a little bit a little bit risky, but uh, we do pick it up As Chris Tremaine comes in and he pulls Jordan wide and you would not believe we picked out the fielder on the rope I think they must have just changed the field there because I remember that because I, I didn't realize like obviously you can see the field radar It does tell you when the field changes, but they didn't have like a deep point and then all of a sudden I, I didn't pay attention to the field went for this short wide one i thought that's that's a that's a gift four runs but nope unfortunately it's uh it's out so we've got the hundred you know can't be too disappointed we come back here with uh fantastic figures so far average of 26 picking up wickets keeping it tight and uh they still trail by 390 so we did get over 400 not uh you know probably could have got a bit more but you know happy with uh a 400 first innings total that's for sure but uh, the bush rangers you'd probably say more you know the stronger in the the batting department I, I would you know i'd probably i'd probably say that with their team as uh bowling pretty well here getting a little bit of turn and uh it's gonna be a maiden to start so into our third over here and uh you know it's trying to keep it tight one wicket down these two are looking to uh to regroup after a very early wicket and uh, again, just putting the pressure on. That one is flicked up in the air. 
and it is not quite going to carry to the field. I thought that was that was a catch for sure, but just a little bit too far back on the ring there. And uh, Bender here, I don't know, <laughs> don't know who that's meant to be either, but that's a that's a good shot, just working it with the spin that time. And uh, yeah, bowling pretty well, one for fifty though, a decent partnership. We do need a to break this this uh, this partnership while it's uh, in its infancy stages. Getting a good turn though. He's uh he's playing with a bit of fire, letting those ones go just outside the off stump. The angle working across it. That one's a nice little flick to the onside again, keeping it tight. Uh, we come back here tenth over now, and uh, Bender and Aaron Finch. He's gone for the uh, the pull shot. The running is abysmal. And he's just stranded up the other end, and this is uh, one of those things where they have fixed this. Um, but I was pretty happy it happened here because we needed a breakthrough. Aaron Finch is going to get run. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't know why this always happens, but whenever I try to just knock the bales off, that always he always runs out, but we get the run out, which is funny. Um, but they did fix that in the, the latest patch, so the, the batsmen don't do that anymore, which is good. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. Uh, but we are going to uh, come back here. Okay, and this is this is a little strange. Well, I'm not sure what happened here, but we did bowl them out for not many, and we enforced the, uh, the follow-on. Because I'm looking at the summary here. I'm not sure what happened here either, but as you see, we scored 412 the first innings, and then we bowled them out for 187. There was only seven. There was a lot of run outs. <laughs> we only had seven wickets. We didn't pick up a wicket. We only bowled like two more overs after that. So, yeah, I'm not. I don't know what happened there. I think I might have just um. Well, yeah, I only had like two more overs. I think I, I showed like my tenth over. So maybe it was only like one other over, and I just simulated to our player and. We obviously just got them out, like, they cleaned the tail up in the middle order, just with a couple of runouts and a, a couple of wickets. So, yeah, we sent them back into bat, and a, a good chance to get a resounding win. So, 3 for 79. They still trail by 146. As uh, Cameron White, glorious shot, actually. That's a it's a good-looking shot. Not uh, not quite the power on it to get to the rope, but a good little flick through the, through the gap there. But 3 for 80, picking up a couple of early wickets and uh we haven't got a wicket yet we got the big hundred but um well we got a hundred it's not a big hundred but it's it's a it's a hundred nonetheless so we're having a good game but we'd like to chip in get a couple of wickets really really throw this game open and uh yeah try to try to get the the, the early win here really as uh, the man in close there cops it saves a run though which is always always nice Cameron White is the danger man we'd like to to pick him up and he's gone for the shot oh it's in the gap too it's a it's a good shot at the end of the day but it was it was in the air it was catchable high but he's picked out the uh picked out the gap and uh, yeah it was a it was a nice shot so fifth over now keeping it tight and we're finally gonna pick him up Cameron White set him up just bowling a little bit wide at that time he gets uh, a little I don't know if he jammed it into his pad or it was just a an outside edge. I'm not too sure, actually. I think I think it was sort of a jam into his pad, and uh, pick up the big wickets. So Marcus Stoinis is uh, is the new man. Very dangerous hitter, but it's uh, it's pressure. It's pressure from ball one here. He can't really come out and uh, really free the arms as uh, another wicket. Wicket or two has fallen, and we're gonna pick up another one here. Scott Boland is uh, his first ball golden duck for him. He's just trying to work with the spin for a for a single, just trying to get into the gap, but just holding up a little in the pitch, maybe just uh, just scoops it up in the air. And good work by the fielder, actually get round to it, pick it up with the one hand, and that's a couple of wickets. So exactly what we wanted to do into our six over, two for seventeen, a couple of a couple of big. I mean, the wide wicket was definitely a big one. And uh, trying to pick up the uh, the tail here. And looks like we cleaned them up. We didn't have to do too much with the ball. So it was actually a nice change from uh, from the usual. We win by an innings and 53 runs. You know, set up by our 100 really. So, you know, we'd expect... We didn't actually pick up man the match. Cameron Gannon, he got, uh, he got eight wickets. But, I mean, we got 100 runs and two wickets. So probably deserved it, honestly. But, you know, that's fine. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and I will see you in the next one.